right, speaking of rain, uh, today we are, as I mentioned earlier, at St. Bernadette's Elementary School. I am in Mrs. Burke's fourth grade class, and we learned a little bit about the hydrologic cycle, the water cycle, and rain has been pestering us these last couple of days. So what I wanted to do today is build a rain gauge with the students that they can have for their very own and maybe outside the classroom, see how much water they're getting. And if you want to do this at home, it's super simple, probably stuff you have at home as well. So we'll have all of these supplies and instructions listed on our website at fox8.com too. So a couple of things that you first need are a bottle. I would suggest this size or a two liter bottle, not the smaller ones. You need a pair of scissors, paper clips, a Sharpie, some water, and a ruler. So what we're gonna do first is, of course, cut the top of the bottle off. And what we're gonna do with it is we are going to flip it upside down inside of itself so that it creates almost a funnel, a funnel so that the water all kind of drips into here and goes into the same place. So next up, what I wanna do is go ahead and measure the bottle. And we're not gonna start from the very bottom of it. We're gonna start a little bit above because of course there's the ridges at the bottom of the bottle. You wanna start with a flat surface. So from here, we'll start right about there. We're gonna flip that upside down and mark it every inch. And the students all said that none of them had actually ever made one of these. And I said, honestly, I've never made one either. We've always just had one at the weather station. So we've got one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, five inch, which seems like a lot, but you know, after all the rain we've gotten these last couple of days, it might be useful. So where we're gonna start here, also mark where that starting uh, point is at zero. So that's our zero point. That's where we're going to fill the water up to. So I'm going to go ahead and fill the water up in the bottom just to that zero line right about there. So it creates that flat surface. It also weighs the bottle down. We're going to stick the bottle top in upside down and pin it to the side so that it doesn't fall out. And again, this is something you can use at home. What you want to do is, of course, put it outside, but put it near uh, a very open space. You don't want to be next to any roofs or next to any trees because, of course, that could skew the data that you get from it. You could get runoff from a roof or leaves blocking the rain from coming down. And of course, then you would want to you would want to mark this. You got one, two inches, three inches, four, five, and six. So there you go. I mean, it doesn't get much simpler than that, making a rain gauge at home. So watch here, it starts raining, rain's coming down, it funnels it all into there, and you pick up a couple of inches. That seems pretty simple, right? Yeah, and now you guys have a rain gauge of your own. Like I said, you guys can make this at home as well. It's super, super easy. It's also a good way to teach the students about, and kids, about, uh, about how much rain is coming down yeah. and maybe why your backyard is flooding the last couple of days. Now you know, yeah. That's it all great. makes sense, thank you. Very clever.